In my previous video, I demonstrated compare match interrupt by using Timer 1 inside the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. In this video, I'll demonstrate another software interrupt, namely Timer Overflow interrupt, again through using Timer 1. The overflow interrupt is explained through this example. Timer 1 is a 16-bit timer, so it will count from 0 to 65,535, and then it will start the count again. If we enable the overflow interrupt in the timer interrupt mask register, then once the counts are done, overflow interrupt will occur, and this ISR will be executed. Now let's calculate the time it takes for timer 1 to finish all of these counts. We know that the clock frequency is 16 megahertz, and if we choose a prescaler value of 1024, so the time per count or per increment is done through this equation here, which gives us a time of 64 microsecond. So the time it takes per increment is 64 microseconds. Now we need to multiply this 64 microsecond by the total number of counts which is 2 to the power of 16 and we get 4.2 seconds so every 4.2 seconds overflow interrupt will occur for overflow interrupt we need to program this time account to control register for timer 1 by choosing the prescaler value as 1024 so the clock select bits are 101 now the rest of these bits are not used in this example, therefore they are at logic don't care. And the C++ code would be this statement here. We also need to program the timer interrupt mask 1 register for timer 1 by enabling the overflow interrupt uh, bit here. Again these bits here are not used so they are at logic don't care and this is the C++ statement to enable the overflow interrupt. This is the setup used to demonstrate overflow interrupt. The program is simple. The overflow interrupt increments a variable by one and the variable value is displayed on this OLED screen. So within the setup function we need to program timer one for overflow interrupt. First we disable the system interrupt then we initialize timer 1 then we store the prescaler value then enable the overflow interrupt and then enable the system interrupt now once an interrupt occurs this ISR is called and a variable is incremented and the value of the variable is displayed on the OLED screen within the main loop function And now let's execute the code and see the overflow interrupt in action. Keep in mind that the counter increments every 4.2 seconds. And now we change the prescaler value to 256 and note the increment happens every one second. Timer interrupts can have practical applications in the Arduino development environment. One application would be to use timer 1 for measuring frequency of an input signal. Thank you for watching.